Welcome back to Squawk Box. New this morning, Built Rewards announcing it's raised $200 million in funding in a round led by General Catalyst. Built Rewards is a platform that partners with real estate owners and allows its users to earn points when paying their rent. With a new funding around the company now valued at more than $3 billion. And joining us right now, first on CNBC, is Built Rewards founder and CEO, Anchor Jane, and Ken Chenault this morning, chairman and managing director of General Catalyst and the former CEO of American Express. He's just been appointed uh, chairman of the board of Built. Good morning to both of you. Morning. And this is super exciting, and it's super exciting for us in a way because I remember when you came and sat at this table when you first launched this company well, we were in 2017. About, we were talking about, if you remember in 2017, we were saying, how is it that Silicon Valley keeps pouring money into electric scooters at the time, right. crypto at the time, when you have the biggest housing crisis, the biggest healthcare crisis, the biggest student loan crisis, how do we solve some real problems? So this is one of those problems, but what's interesting is back then, I think you were probably running Amex right. at the time. Right. You were probably trying to sell him on back then. Well, it was a t getting a meeting with Ken, I mean, it, that's a hard meeting to get. <laughs> so we are, we are, I mean, it is surreal. As an entrepreneur, to go from that type of idea to getting to be here today, talking right. about having someone like Ken as our partner and chairman of the company. It's a pretty surreal moment. Okay, so for those who may not remember what we were talking about <laughs> in 2017, just explain what Built does for everybody. So look, rent is the single biggest expense for most people in this country. Right. You don't get anything back for paying rent every month. And so we said, why can't you earn points on rent just like you do on everything else, right? Earn airline miles, earn hotel points. And by the way, why doesn't paying rent build your credit and get you closer to home ownership? Yeah. And so today, you can pay with Built at any apartment in the United States, earn points and miles, build your credit. And the coolest part is we've now expanded that beyond just rent and said, you not only get rewarded on rent, but in your neighborhood, all these local restaurants, local grocery stores, coffee right. shops can now tap into okay. the loyalty platform. Explain the business model, though, because I think people are probably hearing you say, OK, all of a sudden you get rewards back. Yes. Who is paying for these, who is paying for these <laughs> rewards? So the amazing thing about this is you first look at rent. I mean, we're at almost $20 billion a year of spend. Right. Now, you think about it. We are a payment processor for the rental buildings, just like Stripe is for all these e-commerce. So we make money on payment processing there. Right. But then as we go into the expanded merchant side of the local merchants, I mean, this is what Ken invented, right? If you can bring high-value local residents to build loyalty in their neighborhood, I mean, rather than local restaurants running into an apartment building, putting up flyers, offering a 10% like discount. It's like Amex Rewards. So that's right. what you exactly. bring. Right. Yes. That's it has some similarities to membership rewards. But I think one of the important points here that I think can be transformational is if you think about commerce in the neighborhood, there's been no platform that, in fact, has put that all together to drive local commerce. Small business, too? Small business, absolutely. Right. Small business benefits tremendously. It's one of the reasons why I'm excited is this is the first neighborhood loyalty platform. But, but, explain, but let's go back to the math of it, because yeah. I, I do want to understand 100%. The, the economics of it. So you're collecting a fee. All, you're a, a processing fee, a Correct. transaction fee, every time. Correct. Which, so which pay, is what percent? Which is what percent? I mean, it depends on the type of payment method. You can pay by bank ACH. You can pay okay, by Okay, but check, are we talking between 1.5 and 3%? Are we talking Amex style? I mean, Amex was 3%. MasterCard it, it, was lower, obviously. It really depends if you pay by yeah. Amex or pay by Visa or pay by MasterCard. If you pay with your bank, what's the lowest you can get? That's right. So you, yeah. And so you get different levels but what, of points. What's the rate for the lowest if, if you pay by it, bank? It depends on the landlord, too, and the property owner. But just like Stripe and any other but, payment but, process. Hold on, but, but, but go back. But no, it's no, not no. something for so this, 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 this is an important, so like, important piece. When you go to like a local merchant, right. Right, today, instead of giving, say, like a 10% local discount to bring in local customers on those off hours, off days, they can say, like with American Express, but hey, we want to focus on the neighborhood. And if you come in, we can, we can fund 2.5% or 5% in rewards. And, and introduce our business to all those people moving into the neighborhood every month. So think about this. Half of renters move every year. So you have all these people moving out of the neighborhood every year. And these merchants, these small business owners, have no way to get in front of them. So now you can be in front of everybody when they move into the neighborhood. You have a right. plug and play loyalty platform. And instead of giving the 10% local discount, you spend a quarter of that. Right. And you actually attract the local residents through right. recurring rewards for coming in. And all the points they've earned on rent can now be spent at that local business. Right. right. And okay. that's what drives here's, that. Here's the part that I'm trying to understand yeah. on the math. Okay. 
my understanding, I, I have a, a, a Platinum American Express card, sir. I pay <laughs> something Thank on you. the order of $700 a year now for, for that card. <laughs> and then, so Amex is getting my 700, was it 700, 750? I don't know what it is now. You don't remember It's been anymore. six years. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> maybe more. But maybe more, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then they're getting 3%, I think, something on the order of 3% on every transaction, right? That, that, that's I'm it. not going to comment okay. on that. Okay. But that's, that. that's, that's the math of, how that, of yeah. how that works and why that makes sense. So that when they give me, and then they go to an Uber and they say, give us, totally. give us some, you know, $200 worth of, of Uber rides because they know that then I'm going to do 100%. more. Okay. We, yeah. we understand. And, there, and, there, and there's a discount on those Uber rides, so they're actually giving give Uber some money for that privilege. That's okay. Right. Yeah. Same thing with when they're going to go off exactly. and pay for the airlines. Okay. So I go to, a, I'm now renting in a related building. I'm making yep. that up. I, I, I own. But I, I'm going to rent in a related building. That's right. Okay. Related is going gonna, is gonna to pay you? So when you're payment processing, either the landlord pays for some of the fees. Right. Or sometimes the consumer pays or sometimes the bank pays. Right. Okay. And so. Well, explain that. The bank is going to pay the so fees? So, for example, when you have an Amazon credit card. Right. You use it on Amazon.com for a 5% cash back. Yes. Chase Bank pays for that. Right. So if you have a built card and you're using it in an apartment building, the banks can fund these extra rewards as part of the value prop. If you're using a American Express card, either the landlord will pay for that fee right. or the consumer might pay for that. But I think I, it, my original conception of this was something that was going to help with affordable housing and help people build their credit score. Okay. What you're describing is something very different. He's asking about the higher I know, but what so. you're describing is something very different. It, I think it's evolved. It's probably a better business proposition than it was before, but maybe less also, useful for helping no, the people so Becky, who are at so the we bottom work end of the scale. With affordable housing right. all the way through ultra luxury. But okay. not small housing, which no, is where small a lot housing of, too. Now you can use it at any apartment. Like if property. I have a property yes. that's a rental property, I Somebody can sign can up with it. Somebody can use Belt right. to pay your rent. In fact, when they pay their rent through the Belt platform, you can either accept that payment then as a check mm -hmm. that we then mail to you, or right. through if you have an online. But, here's what I'm trying but to it understand. costs more. It, right. it, it, it increases. The I mean, I'm going to go to Ken on this because I, yeah. I, I apologize. Right. Okay, you decided this company is worth three billion dollars. Right based on some kind of mathematical formula right. about how much they're earning and what the future of this, okay. Expl I'm gonna ask you to explain it because I, I unfortunately we still yeah. don't understand yeah. it. With what, so is it, is, I, I'm, I now, let, let's just pretend I'm related. Okay, right. you come to me and you say, hey, uh, we, we want a process for you. Yep. Okay, and I say to you, okay, I'd be very happy for you to process for me. How much are you charging me? Related pays for payment processing today, Right. ACH fees, they pay check cashing fees, right. they pay card fees when you pay your rent. Instead of that being our core business, that we're trying to generate huge margin on that, right. you can turn that into rewards for the customer that they can then use for airline miles, hotel I understand, points, but somebody, got, somebody has to pay for those. That, that, pay, that is already happening today, but everybody else's business is just to keep that. So Related is already paying for payment processing before built using yeah, legacy. The key, key thing here, right. yes. yeah, but, but the Which key is thing a, here at the end of the day is, right. The, the building, yeah. right, everyone converts to the built payments platform. platform. And they're paying a service fee for that. So the same way they used to pay for their legacy platform that gave none of that back to the renter, right. they now pay those same fees. No, but if fees. somebody wrote me a check, a, a personal check, there'd be no fee on that. Correct. So then they get less rewards on that check payment, right? Exactly. So when you pay electronically, where there is a fee right, that's but okay, paid so for that. It sounds like there's two businesses here. It, help me. There's the platform fee, so the software fee that I'm going to pay you to use, right? Payment processing. Fee. Payment processing, a, a fee per transaction. <laughs> I'm not paying you some kind of other fee on top of that Correct. as a building? Correct. Okay, what am I paying you as a building? I'm a, I'm a landlord. We have a lot of landlords who are yeah. watching the show. They may want to work with you or not. How much it's, are, they, are you charging them? It would be the them? same that they currently pay for any other payment processing platform they use. And that's different, just like every enterprise deal has slightly different but Most terms. of them don't usually allow you to pay with credit cards, they historically. All, all the online payment centers do. They do? And sometimes they pass that fee on to the customer. Sometimes yeah. they take it and, themselves. And the key is, Built has more than 50% right. of the top 50 <coughs> real estate Landlords. companies. Okay. All right. So, and are they exclusive to you? When you, when a property, yes, is a short answer. All the properties that use Built. So I can't pay with a check and not get charged it just to goes be part through of the program. Built. Yeah, no, but no, it's, 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 it goes through the Built payment. Everything. But does, do I get charged a fee for writing a personal check through Built? You do not, as a as a customer now. Right. So it doesn't. It, it's not going to be one percent of my rent. It's the exact same as it is today. No, you no. do not pay for that as a okay, customer. Okay. If I wanted to compete with you and yeah. create my own version of Built and called up. Um, you know, so you Stephen Ross and said, hey, man, 
I, I, I'm going to provide the same service for cheaper. Is it when I said it's exclusive to them? Yes. Meaning, do you have some kind of uh, yeah, deal yes, with them yes, where they yes can't the use anybody answer. else? And, and by the way, he's looking for the moat. Yeah, yeah. no, this, this is a great question. <laughs> part of the moat. The okay. whole ecosystem. Remember, these properties also generate revenue on build. This is what I want to get to. When you think about the ecosystem, this is a lot of what you've built in American Express. Mm -hmm. You have the merchants, who are the buildings in this case, the right. rental apartments. You have the neighborhood merchants, the broader ecosystem of the restaurants, the coffee shops, et cetera. When a customer who lives at a related building today goes to the neighborhood venues, related doesn't monetize any of that. Right. Now that resident who's going to the local store and choosing to spend at that local restaurant, that local discount being paid by the restaurant to attract that local customer right. now goes partly to rewards, partly to build, and partly to related. So when you think about the ecosystem, you'd have to have a network of properties right. with, by the way, as, our, as we now have over 50% of the market, customers have their built loyalty account, they have their elite status, they have their points that they want to transfer with them. They have rewards ecosystem where they can use that on most of the major airlines and hotels, that's a whole ecosystem that really like us and groups like American Express have built. Right. Then you have the merchant ecosystem. So it's not just, a, and that's the beauty is you can actually give up margin on payments right. to build that ecosystem value because you're actually accessing customers in their right. homes. Okay, but you also have a separate home. credit card itself. Yeah, you know, all payment processors today for rent right. accept credit or debit card online. Right, but I'm saying you also have your own card. And we have a co-brand card with Wells, like right. Delta does with American Express. Right. And, and the reality is, just like you can use any payment product, right? Right. So you can sign up uh, with Amex, you can sign up with Chase, you can sign up with any card issuer, and you can use Built. And there's a co-branded right. card, which is... If, if I was a, a landlord, why would I prefer to use this? As so, a, in terms of margin, for yeah, my total, nice. total margin, will totally I do better good, using this versus... Uh, Great question. Okay. You make more revenue per resident while rewarding the resident. Very simple. Your payment fees are the same. Your residents now earn rewards and build credit for free, which, by the way, we were the first to bring free credit reporting to all renters across right. the country. It's crazy to me that people charge for that. It should be something that everyone has access to, but that's something we brought. And now that property has the ability to generate new revenue from spend in the right. neighborhood that otherwise wasn't part of that P&L for that property. So with a plug and play system that you just put in the payment solution, they're now giving a better experience to their residents and generating ancillary revenue on the outside area. Yeah. The key point at the end of the day, uh, when the calls that I made to property owners, what they said to me is one, that what Built has been able to do is dislodge competitors that have been in there for 20 years, 25 right. or 30 years, the inertia that was there. And then they've said, I have this incremental revenue opportunity. And what was really exciting to me is that people said, here is a situation where I can win, right. the consumer wins, everybody who touches this platform wins. And that's the type of platform I love. Uh, is, is that, that a benefits higher everyone margin in the or ecosystem. lower margin from an uh, economic point of view? Because you have to give out the rewards. Higher margin or lower lower margin, but the ho hope is you, you catch up with scale. Higher margin overall, lower margin on rent. Lower margin on rent. Um, two other things just of note, Roger Goodell joining your board. Very excited. I mean, NFL is the biggest hometown loyalty company in the world. It's about cities and the loyalty to your sports teams. I mean, a lot of how we're thinking about building that community, I think is similar to what sports teams have done in, in home. Yeah, I, I would just go back to this concept of a neighborhood loyalty program that neighborhood commerce is totally fragmented. Right. And this is a platform that can unite. Right. You must have to have commerce. a lot of salespeople then to actually go local, <laughs> lo local to, 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 get, to get all the merchants to, to so get this on This is what's board. so exciting is you would think so. We, don't, we have a sales team today of three people. Our apartment buildings already have these ad hoc relationships. So all of these restaurants have, and these coffee shops and local retailers and, and dry cleaners right. are already going to apartment buildings saying, hey, can I put up a flyer right. in your elevator? Can I offer a local discount? But there's been no way to right. institutionalize that neighborhood. Yeah, and either. the key thing, one of the things that I see as a big opportunity is to dramatically increase yes. that neighborhood coverage and the real estate coverage. Um, we got to go. This is fascinating, <laughs> really. And it's exciting because we, we feel like we've been here uh, since, since yeah. the beginning.